this video I will show you how you can uh, prepare the profile in the library so that the notch command can use custom notch profile. Uh, the problem with uh, library parts as they are is that when you use the notch command the uh, profile is always cut exactly to the shape of the target profile. So let's see how it looks before we make, we make the change. Here we have two I-beams <coughs> and we will use notch command in them. So at this moment there is no notch profile option available. So we just click OK and look at the result. You can see that the uh, profiles exactly fit one, one to another which is probably not the result that, that you want. Let's just see. Let's just see this one. So this is how it looks. So the next step we will try to change the content center uh, definition so that the notch profile will be different. <coughs> so the first step is we go to content center editor. Uh, it's in Tools Editor and we make a copy of the uh, family that you want to change. In my case it's this one. I copy to my read write library, create independent family. I can change the name and also uh, the description if necessary. Let's say with notch profile. After OK, I get an independent copy. I can see it in my library. It's the first one. So then I just open the component directly from Content Center. I select previously created copy of the family and select the first dimension. I get a part file which I save without changing its name. And that's basically the definition of the of the component. <clears throat> so now the trick is that we have to um, edit the base sketch and draw the profile that will represent the cutting profile when using notch command. In this case I will create this shape that will be used for uh, cutting the other part. Let's finish it up here. Okay. Let's set two dimensions. I will make them parametric by linking them to uh, profile height. So they will then so that the notch profile will dynamically uh, update with the change of the profile size. I finish the sketch and then go to structure structural shape authoring and select the notch profile. I can check the preview if it looks OK and click OK. Then I save the component and <coughs> go back to Content Center Editor and then I can replace the family template. Right click on the family and command replace family template. I'll select just created a new definition of the template. Hit open. And that's basically everything that has to be done. Let's test it if it works. Let's delete this one before we continue. Okay. So let's open the uh, same test assembly from before and insert two new profiles. That's the new family. Let's change let's change the size, make it some big some bigger to see if the notch profile updates with the size of the I beam. We'll have to rotate this one, put it to zero and okay. So if we now Let's turn this off. If you now use the notch command, 
we'll have additional option apply notch profile if we leave it selected we'll get different cut shape so the cut is now made from our additional sketch and not from base sketch of the profile if we unselect this option of course we get the result as we did previously so basically you have to do this change to every uh, profile family that you plan to use um, it takes a few minutes to do this change but it can save you a lot of time when uh, preparing drawings so they look okay for production. Thanks for watching.